sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. I asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He yeah, doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for, announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. You do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. All right, so I wanted to get into this fascinating analysis that which is being articulated by Jim Carrey, who's specifically going into the recent incident at the Oscars that took place in terms of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock after Chris Rock had made a joke, G.I. Jane 2, towards Jada Pinkett Smith, who's currently experiencing and has been experiencing alopecia and her baldness for more than a year and has talked about such issues. The articulation that Jim Carrey provides, which I agree with, is the disgusting behavior that was on display while the act took place and what transpired thereafter. For example, the joke in and of itself was not invoking, invoking, let alone promoting any sort of violence. Therefore, it should not compel an individual to engage in assaultive behavior. Now, if the specific joke was invoking and or promoting violence, no doubt, collectively, we as a society should condemn and not condone such rhetoric. But that's not the rhetoric that Chris Rock was providing. Therefore, I agree with Jim Carrey's articulation that it was merely jokes within the realm of words. Words, that's merely all they were. And furthermore, Jim Carrey also highlights a very fascinating analysis that's tied to the life of Hollywood elites, let alone the upper, upper, upper enchilant and her class of society. And that issue is a lack of accountability, which is exactly what we saw when it came to the Oscars, whether from other actors and celebrities essentially siding with Will Smith let alone the fact that he was not approached by any security personnel as he approached the podium that Chris Rock was doing his monologue on, let alone even when he calmly went back to sit on his seat. That action could only be articulated by somebody who no doubt is within elite circles and is often characterized as being a part of an elite circle because they are outside they are outside the parameters of accountability and we see this consistently whether when it comes to hollywood elites whether when it comes to oligarchs whether it comes to plutocrats often accountability falls outside the parameters for such said individuals and that's where the disgusting display that Jim Carrey's articulating comes to fruition. Therefore, I fully agree with Jim Carrey's articulation. 